So, Kempton Park is the final port of call for me this week then, and the Cato Star Chase will kick us off today. Three mile grade three event. Top one, Old Gate Port, Carla Aganza, Drummond Bray, Jim Murray, H Defences, Joshua Sutherland, I'm Quackers, Kevin Meenan, King's Desire, Stu Gray, 100 Vision, Molly at Surfer, Standout King, Darren Howe, Struck the Gold, Leon Van Rensburg, Wild Bill, Paul Rhodes, Gay Brief, Martin Leedon, Princess Lady Jane, Ghost Zapper, Reflect, He's a Rarity, Doug Warren, Sound Spanish, Darren Thompson, and Unbind Thunder Spark, they're away and racing. Pretty short run to the first of the fences, and they all skip over that one nicely with the grey unbind on the inside of 100 Visions, making the early pace with 19 fences to take. This is the second of them, and they skip over that one nicely as well with Wild Bill on the wild outside now coming through to take it up. So Wild Bill is the new leader then up the centre of the track, just running wide, maybe looking for a bit better ground as the rain comes down. Oldgate Put has moved through into second, then Drummond Bray is in third. The field is pretty tightly grouped though, with the exception of this leader, Wild Bill, who's put three lengths between himself and the remainder. As they race on towards the third of the fences then, and Wild Bill it is. Leads probably four lengths now, maybe even five, but Eight to the fences is moving into second as they take the third. And all over that one nicely with Wild Bill, the leader. With Old Lake put in second and eight to the fences is third. 100 Visions is after that one in fourth. So he quickly get to the fourth and Old Gate put was down on his nose that time. But got away with it okay. And Wild Bill continues to show the way to eight to the fences second. Here comes 100 Visions in third place. Old Gate puts record for that mistake. Reflect, he's a rarity. The Grey is next as they take this ditch, which is number five. And we see them all over that safety with Gay Brief and King's Desire. The back two. Standout King is also nearer the back than the front. But Wild Bill lead down to three lengths now to eight to the fences as they come to this plain one. Over that one they all go with King Desire, just the last one over it. And Wild Bill the leader. So Wild Bill leads then from... Reflect, he's a rarity. The grey horse of dogs on the outside of eight to the fences. Then comes Drummond Bray. Princess Lady Jane getting the first mention. The other grey on the near side. We're just behind now. He's on bind. We're on the back of Gay Brief. As we race into the Kempton Strait. You can see the all weather track on the inside. And the stand coming up on the outside. As Gay Brief looks for a little bit of room up there. As they take this next fence. And... Over that one they go, all over it okay. You can see there that standout King up on the outside of Gabe Reef and just about relegated him to the back. As they take this next one, this is the eighth. Uh, reflect, he's a rarity, made a bit of a mistake. But they're all over it okay and Wild Bill continues to lead. This will be the last on the next circuit. And over it they all go. And all still standing and jumping pretty much okay. There have been one or two minor mistakes but nothing too drastic so far and as they come past the post with the circuit to go it's Wild Bill that leads them from Drummond Brain second and then eight to the fences nine quackers and then reflect he's a rarity then comes Sand Spanish and Princess Lady Jane unbind after that one with 100 visions Gay Brief and Strike the Gold then Old Gate put King Desire and finally stand out King towards the back then so Wild Bill takes them down to the water jump stood off it got away with it though all over that one, OK, with a three-length lead for Wild Bill then over Reflect, he's a rarity in second. Drummond Brace there, we looks like we're losing one, pulling up at the back as they take number 11, and a mistake right at the back there by On Quack as it sounds Spanish that's pulled up, so that one's out of the race as they come down to this ditch, and Wild Bill then over it. And again, slow at the back, On Quackers, and I guess that one's probably already part before too long. He doesn't get his act together, but Wild Bill is now being chased by Grays, and Unbind is the one that comes to challenge on the outside. Reflect, he's a rarity, his third. Gabe Reef has crept up into fourth, then Drummond Bray is after that one, but it's still Wild Bill in the lead from Unbind in second. As they make their way towards the next, they've got just a mile left to race now, and Wild Bill had it pretty much his own way for most of the race, but he's now been harassed on the outside by Unbind as they come to this 13th. And over that one they all go. 
They all got over that one okay as well. And on Bind and Wild Bill are pretty close up top. Reflect, he's a rarity. He's next. Then Drum and Bray. They come to this next one. And slightly better jump by Wild Bill. Sees that one come out of it about our length clear of Unbinding second. Reflect, he's a rarity. He's third. Gabe Reef is four. And King Desires five. Then Drum and Bray is next. And strike the goal. Stand out. King's making a bit of a forward move. Eight to the fences. And Princess Lady Jane got some running to do as they take the 15th. And Wild Bill led over that one. And he's a length and a half clear of Unbind, Reflect, he's a rarity, Gabe Roof's got the inside, King Desire, another one who's come from the back, he's in a good position, sweep around the outside now, strike the gold as they take the 16th, and Old Gate puts Corona in the day now as well, so they're racing there towards the swing to home, they've got only four furlongs still to race, and it's suddenly all change up front, Drum and Bray, strike the gold, Wild Bill, Unbind, Reflect, he's a rarity, then comes Gabe Roof, but it's strike the gold, it looks to be going best, Drum and Bray's on the inside, but right on the rail is Wild Bill but Wild Bill's gone back into the lead again Wild Bill's back in front from Drum and Brands and strike the goal Princess Lady Jane now making a forward move as well there's still plenty of chances as they come to the third from home and over that one Wild Bill led from Drum and Brands strike the goal Princess Lady Jane beginning to run and then I'm quack as he looked totally out of it earlier he's now coming through with a run on the outside it's Drum and Bray over the second last Wild Bill strike the goal Princess Lady Jane I'm quack as then 100 visions it's still Wild Bill one to jump Wild Bill takes the final fence but jumps it slowly Drum and Brand strike the goal go past him strike the goal's in the lead Drum and Brand's trying to fight back Wild Bill's running on again in third but it's strike the goal and Drum and Brand ding dong battle towards the line it's on the node oh it's close it's very close Drum and Brand looked like he might have got back up again and that is mighty close there and the horse in blue was definitely stopping and Drum and Bray, I think, has got up and taken that, you know. Uh, wow, Bill's on a big race in third. And I'm quackers. What sort of a race did that one run? And Drum and Bray takes it for Jim Murray. Leon van Rensburg strike the gold run lucky in second. Wild Bill Paul Rhodes on a big race in third. And I'm quackers, Kevin Meenahan. Keep an eye on that one. That ran an absolute cracker. And Unbind for Thunderspark was fifth.